We made it through the storm. Wow. I'm filled with gratitude. I'm feeling the same way today. I'm feeling very appreciative of the people in my life. Terribly, terribly, terribly. No, I shouldn't say terribly appreciative. <laughs> uh, wonderfully, wonderfully appreciative. So many people came to help Betty. She was without power. Five days in my apartment. No water in the bathtub. I didn't prepare, and you know why? I'm very glad I didn't, because this whole thing of prepare, prepare, because everyone, everyone brought me things. Yes. The, the men in the building love me. How many old ladies in the building talk about sex and, and get them <laughs> laughing, you know? Exactly. It, they, I am so loved by so beloved. many. Beloved. Beloved by so many people that I am overwhelmed with gratitude. That's how I felt. I had so many text messages and emails. Well, you, you, you had all the... Internet throughout the whole Well, thing. where I am in Dumbo, Dumbo was hard hit. A block for me is devastated. Um, my building's going on a slant, like, uphill. And then all of our electric and everything is all on the roof. So we were Smart. unscathed. Um, so what we did is we had everyone over. We were kind of a little hub and use the Internet and come in and take a shower and use the, you know, washer and dryer or whatever you needed. But the, the messages that came from so many women, and almost every woman... And our two most recent body sex groups reached out. And I thought, wow, you know, you do certain types of work and you wonder, you know, I, I, the impression it leaves on people and the experience. What a network. And, you know, it, to, it's a stranger. They come paying for an experience. They, they have it with you. And then to have them reach out from all over the world, Israel and Paris and Mexico. Like, and yeah, all she's, okay on face, and, she's on Facebook, so she gets all of this. I haven't been able to get on my computer yet. Oh, uh, she's looking forward to it. I got up this morning, and it was like, uh, 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 like, you know, like like I'm coming off the desert, and i got to have a glass, so I'm coming off the five days. Maybe that's that, the appreciation that we have such totally, wonderful lives. Totally. You know? we, we need to have all of these luxuries taken from us. To really appreciate For them. five days a week. And then all of a sudden, last night, Becky came all the way from Uptown. Now, she had electric lights and everything. Brought food, brought a bottle mm -hmm. of wine, and slept all the way down here and heated up the food. And we were in the kitchen with the candles all over. It's quite pretty, candlelight. It's very sexy. And all of a sudden, in the kitchen, as we're getting dinner warmed up, boom. The lights go on. The lights came on. I went, and she said, what was that? <laughs> I said, electricity. <laughs> oh, it, was so, it was so thrilling. Was I don't so know exciting. what I was so happy. One of the women from the last group uh, sent a beautiful email. I've asked if I could publish it. I haven't heard back from her yet. Um, and she was talking about the experience of the group and how it hasn't left her. And she's been thinking about it and thinking about it. And she said one of the, the biggest moments for her was that in the circle, in the Body Six group, there was no separation between her sexual self and her social oh. self. And I think that's a really important concept. No separation between her sexuality and her self. And her social self, what we project. And I think as men, you can be a sexual. Like the, the sexual and the social self are, are merged. And you're expected to be aggressive. You're expected to pat asses. You're expected to make, you know, dirty jokes. But as a woman... Try to score... It's the Madonna whore complex. We have to separate that, right? Of course, I haven't separated it for so many years. I don't know much about that. But that's why she took that as one of the biggest moments for her. She's right. She's right. Because I think that's what we suffer from as We women. are building a whole new world of women. And it is as basic as the body sex workshops. Because you can merge that. Because then what is your sense of self? You're always pushing the sexual side of yourself away. Yeah. So then when you do that so much, how do you bring that back to your relationships or back to those? It's up women? to us to remind women that we are all whores. whores. <laughs> and take whore pride. Absolutely. And it's okay. It's, you know? it's better than okay. Yeah. It's desirable. Claim your sexuality. Utilize your sexuality. Enjoy your sexuality. And don't let anybody, anybody, tell you what you can and cannot do. That is for you to decide. All right, darlings, go out and get into just a little bit of trouble. <laughs>